if God forbid you were to lose your wealth today, what would be the two things that you would do tomorrow to restart? I'd go to the preconditions. Number one, where is your perception? I'd get into agriculture. Okay. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'd do. I'd get into agriculture. I'd make a billion dollars out of agriculture. Which I'm gonna do. No, so you, you would not have the wealth. Of course, so here's what I'll do. Here's, a, here, like, here's what I'll do. I'll build an asset management business using that. After the first money. Exactly. What, what percentage <laughs> of that, of the one billion that Jamaica is spending now, uh, will the 2,800 acres? That's the start. That's the start. Here's the opportunity. Sugar company in Jamaica, the Chinese just gave up Money Musk, right? Plus yeah. a few other estates. Yeah. The land is just sitting there. You can go to sugar company of Jamaica and no, you don't have to buy it. You rent it for, you lease it for $50 US per acre per year. Yeah. Per acre? $50 per acre per year. Yeah, but there are only so many things that you can do in land after you grow sugar cane on it. Why? The soil. No, that's not true. The fact, you hear it, the offer, that's not true. That's why. That's the perception. That's the perception. No, no, that's the perception. But the land has only been used for sugarcane. It's an advantage. That is the reality. You see, you have the perception, but the reality is this is virgin land. It has been a uni crop for centuries. I, I was just saying the importance of a framework in whatever you do, because it, it really guides you to aid that bullseye and, and it really allows you to ask the critical questions. You know, so the thing that really stuck with me is that reality versus perception. Because when you said it first, I was like, yeah. But then when you kept on reiterating it and persons kept on confirming it, your grandfather with the farming, your perception of the sugar. And I'm just like, right. And then I, my brain is just going and going. And so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I was just reiterating to say that I think that summed it up for me that the framework is the most important thing and it actually helps you to always guide guide you to make the right decisions and to determine what what works and what won't work at least for you and scale is a big piece of of, of agriculture that i think you mentioned a very important part the exercise i think that was really instrumental because it shows how many errors you can make along the way if you're not clear and really try to learn um properly the steps the stages throughout which to achieve success or any other variant here. Because I think a process ensures repeatable results. And I think that was really instrumental in addition to all the other wisdom you know, shared today. I would encourage us to actually look at any measure of success that you have achieved in your own life, in your own situation, because it's specific to you. And kind of step back, work backwards and say, how did I get here? And maybe See, that is a from? <laughs> and that, come from? And that is good. a framework. Thank you, because, sir. You know, uh, Tishan. You're 100% correct. Yeah. For but your that's own what success. I did. Yeah. Right? Because I looked at myself and said, how the hell did I get here? Yeah. I got here by... Right? And so I know, lock it in. Yeah. Right? Uh, and I just look at myself, look at other people. Mm -hmm. So I have a process. I have a process, right? And thank you for getting that, that thought out. The process starts with you observe, whether it's yourself or others. Secondly, you create a hypothesis, right, from your observations. Thirdly, you stress test your hypothesis. Fourthly, what if the stress test proves to be, proves your hypothesis to be true, you codify it. And then lastly, you hardwire it so it becomes who you are. So I'm a hunter for inefficiencies. I'm a hunter for situations where there's perception versus reality. I'm a hunter for situations where there's a lack of capital. That's the hardwiring aspect of it. Okay.